I'm tired of people asking me questions I don't know how to answer. They ask me about my skin and my eyes and my loud, boisterous laughter and my curly, big hair. They ask me about my foreign accent, or rather the lack of it. All the while, the wheels of their brains grinding against each other, trying, oh so unseasonably, to put a pin on who I am. Where are you from? I was once asked by someone who overheard me speaking my native language. I smiled. I smiled because I am from a place that's shaped Chinua Chibe. I am from a place that molded Nelson Mandela and Maria Makeba. I am from a continent who gave birth to dreamers who are not afraid to challenge themselves, to heroes who have given up their lives to save a country, and to free spirits who soar through this earth and change everyone and everything on their path. I am from a continent who birthed the woman who gave up everything to make me who I am today. So I smiled. I smiled and I said, I am from Africa. A nervous, hesitant smile appeared from a corner of his mouth. He, it was almost as if his mind was elsewhere as his mouth was rushing to say the words that came to him. That came to him. Is life hard down there? He asked. I was confused. But that confusion quickly turned into anger, anger to frustration, frustration to sadness. And then I was just tired. Because it broke my heart that I would always be misunderstood. That I would always be viewed as one thing and that thing alone. Because the, the world associates poverty, destruction, damage, disease, sadness, death, with this place that I was so proud that I'm from. Because the world will never get to see the kindness and the hospitality that awaits me when I go home. It will never get to hear the sound of the cabaros beating with my heart at every mezcal celebration. And it will never get to experience this magical place from my perspective. You see, the problem with stereotypes is not that they're untrue. It's that they're incomplete. And that incompleteness, it reduces something as intricate and as complex as a human being into a single story. It reduces them to a single image. And that robs people's identity. It robs their dignity. It takes away their individual distinctions takes away their humanity. So yes, there is poverty, like everywhere else in the world. There is disease, and quite unfortunately, there is war. But you ask me, as much as those things exist, there's also hard work. There is unbelievable creativity, and there is undeniable love that holds that continent together. So you ask me, is life hard down there? No. Life is goddamn beautiful.